In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you some things that I think are, well, they're shocking to me. Again, you know, obviously I'm an old guy. I've been around a long, long time, but uh, I get RV business industry information all the time. I received an email and normally I just kind of scan through it. And I went through this one. I think it's really interesting and it scares the hell out of me. So here it goes. It was, uh, it's from the RV Industry Association. It says buyers spent, before I tell you, what do you think the average buyer across all the market, the average buyer, how much did they spend buying an RV? What do you think the average price was last year? Got an answer? What do you think? The average price from, whoa, holy smokes to, man, that wasn't very much. What's the average price? I'm going to tell you. The average price that buyers spent last year buying new RVs, $73,115. $73,115. That's a ton. That's way more than I thought. Uh, they, they did this survey, and they, they got a lot of information. I think a lot of it is, is it's valuable, especially if you're a dealer. Aha, that's where the market is. Aha, that's how much people are spending. Ah, but I think you need to know. You're a consumer. You're an RV, or you want to know what how they see you. Seventy. What was that? Seventy-three thousand one hundred and fifteen dollars on new RVs. In terms of other things that jumped out at me, um, the median age. What do you think the median age of the RV buyer is right now, or was last year? The average age. What's the median from zero to I don't know, however old you live. What's the average? 33. 33 years old. That's young. It used to be like 40 something years old. But more and more young people are getting into buying RVs. And it's pretty obvious why, I think. I mean, RVs are pretty cool. Yes, you have a lot of freedom, and young people, you know, they're not anchored down with all the stuff us old folks do. And they want to go out and have a, have a good life and experience adventure, and nobody can blame them. But the average person spent. $73,115. Guess how much the millennial spent? Where is it? There it is. The millennial spent an average of $77,280. What do you think? Post your comments below. You think it's a lot? It's a lot more than I would have thought. Almost $80,000 for a millennial is going to sign a note. How many of those people, here's your 80 grand RV dealer and, you know, give me my RV. Not very many. I see most of them have, have debt, a lot of debt. They probably have one car, maybe two cars, a house. I mean, I don't know, a lot of debt. And now they got debt on almost $80,000 on an RV and they've never owned one before. Uh, something else I found that was really, I think, interesting is, uh, let me scroll down here. Of the new buyers, of all of these people that bought their first RV, their new RV, you know how many plan to put their RV on a peer-to-peer -peer rental site like RV Share, Outdoorsy? You've, you've seen them. I'm, I'm sure you've seen them. Let me ask you. If you're an RV owner, would you put your RV on one of these peer-to-peer -peer rental sites? I know a lot of people do, but uh, a lot of people don't. Post your comments. Let me know. Would you post your RV or have you posted your RV on one of these peer-to-peer -peer rental sites? I'd like to know. Of the new buyers, you know how many of them said they're going to put theirs on a peer-to-peer -peer rental site? 46%. 46%. And many of this, this is not in the survey. This is my opinion. Many of these people have been conned. They've been convinced by some dealer, some overzealous uh, salesperson that said, you know what, I know your payments may, may be $800, maybe $1,000 a month. That's not a big deal. And here's why. You can rent the thing out for the 1000 a month. You can. You really can. Well, you can't. Somebody else can. If you're like me, you know, you can't, well, yeah, I get in the short line at the bank and guess what? It's the longest one. Somebody's filling out a mortgage application. It takes me so long to get through. Somebody possibly could make that thousand or two or three thousand a month, and it can be done, but probably not by people like you and by people like me. So, if you're one of these millennials who has spent almost eighty thousand dollars on purchasing your first RV, your brand new RV, almost eighty thousand dollars, and almost half of those people say they're going to put it into a peer to peer rental pool, you think that's going to work out for them? RVs are not homes. 
You know, you can slam your bathroom door at the house. You can slam a cabinet door. You can walk around, stomp around. It's not going to fall apart. You better be careful in an RV. Am I right or am I right? I mean, RVs are built to break. They're all going to break. They break. It's, it's a function of how much uh, maintenance we put into them. But even then, they're going to break. They're all going to break. A lot of people are putting their RVs in these peer-to-peer -peer rental pools. Don't take that into consideration. If you've ever rented a car, you know, I take better car, better care of uh, car rentals now that I'm older. But I remember when I'm young, I got a brand new car from Hertz Rent a Car. Let's go, boo! You're not going to take care of that RV. If you rent an RV from somebody, you got no skin in the game. Yeah, you got a $1,000 deposit. Big deal. I'll say that scratch was already there. Yeah. Plumbing breaks. Electrical breaks. The barbecue pit doesn't work. The awning doesn't go out. The headaches that can come with this peer-to-peer -peer rental. I'm not talking you out of it. I promise I'm not trying to talk you out of it. I'm trying to talk some sense, at least give you a different perspective. If you're one of these people, you're getting ready to spend $80,000, you go, oh my God, 80000 bucks. I can rent that thing out and have my payments covered and life's going to be good. As I said, it may work for somebody, but it's probably not going to work for you. I hope it works for you. But it's never worked for me. The only thing that works for me is hard work, and when I get knocked down, get back up, better do it pretty quick, and get ready for the next knocking down, and then go for it. So anyway, like I said, this survey came out. Uh, it's very enlightening. Uh, uh, of the ethni ethnicity, 66% of the folks who bought RVs are white, 14% are African American, 11% are Hispanic, uh, only 4% are Asian, but in terms of generational, 38% were millennials. That's kind of surprising to me, in a sense. 31% are Gen Xers and 9% are Gen, Gen Z, and only 22% of the people that bought new RVs are old farts. I'm sorry, baby boomers. 22%. So most of them are young. And I love that. If they're happy, if they're happy with their purchase. But if you're spending $80,000 on your first RV and you think you're going to get it for free because you're going to make enough money to make the payments, and you might do it for a couple of months. You might. But please, take it slow. Take it easy. Folks, post your comments. Let me know what you think. You think I'm being too negative? You think, what was it? Millennials spent the most, an average of $77,280 on their new RV. My God, no wonder dealers are making so much money. People are going in debt like crazy. Let me know what you think. I do appreciate you watching this video. My name is Alan Warren. They call me the RV wingman. I'm kind of like that. That uh, I'm not the best person to go to a party with. I promise you that. But if you're going into a deal, I'm the guy that's going to go, Whoa, ask him about this. Ooh, you may want to think about that. That's why a lot of people don't like me when because I impede their sales process. I want you to be a happy camper. And to be a happy camper, you need to be a smart buyer. You can get smarter by watching this channel. There are a lot of great channels out there. I hope you will consider giving this a thumbs up and uh, hitting the subscribe button. Tell your friends about us. Again, I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.